Hello, this is Michael Wolf for WatchReport.com. Would like to take a moment to present a new model from TW Steel. This is a watch from their Slimline collection. As always, I would like to remind everyone that there will be a link at the bottom of this video presentation that will take you over to a full written review on watchreport.com there will be additional thoughts and photos and so forth that that I won't cover in this in this brief uh, video presentation so definitely go over and check that out and while you're at it if you don't mind subscribe to our YouTube channel we'd we'd love to have you as followers so recently I was reading an article about slim uh, line watches and um, noticed a lot of uh, of those watches that I was reading in this particular article with with high price points and um, you know over over five six hundred dollars typically for most of those watches and I thought when I when I got my hands on this particular model um, what a great watch uh, at a great value uh, TW Steel uh, designed this particular line to um, create a stylish uh, timepiece for, uh, for instance, say a tailor-made suit, uh, something that is going to 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 look very stylish and classy and elegant, and I, I think they've they've done a really nice job overall. The particular model in front of you is the TW1306 I believe uh, yes TW1306 it is a uh, bracelet model there are other models in this collection um, with different dial colors uh, different case finishes uh, as well as um, strap versions the particular model in front of you uh, retails for right around, I believe, 450 USD. Uh, I don't believe that you'll find any uh, discounted pricing anywhere on this particular watch. Some of the uh, the really uh, great features is I, I want to first start off by saying that this watch weighs uh, it's very lightweight. It's about 130 grams. And when you factor in the f that this case is only about eight and a half millimeters thick, this watch is going to feel ultra light uh, on the wrist. But due to the fact that we've got a 45 millimeter case and I think close pushing 49 millimeters with the crown, it's still going to have quite a bit of wrist presence. So. Uh, Beautiful case finishing. It's got high polished and brushed finishes in various areas. Crown is brushed. The rest of the case is, is high polished, but as you can see, the, br the beautiful multi link bracelet has brushed and high polished finishes throughout to correspond with the case features. Just a very elegant, classy looking timepiece. Typically with smaller or thinner watches, we'll see uh, a smaller surface area for, for the dial. Well, again, that is not the case with this particular model. This dial opening, I believe, is right, it's pushing 40 millimeters. I think it's just slightly under 40 millimeters. So you're going to see... You're gonna, you're gonna, the watch is gonna appear larger on the wrist, even possibly than what it is. The model is also fitted with a sapphire crystal. The markers and the 12 and 6 hour indicators are applied. Going over to this push pull crown, I don't know if I'll be able to get a good view in the video, but if not, um, there will be. It will, there will be some photos in the written review. It is it is a nicely engraved sign crown. 
solid in-link construction. Bracelet is branded with the logo and the name of the company. The links are friction pins, are held together by friction pins. It's pretty standard for, for this type of watch. And um, we also have just a dual deployment clasp. It is, it's not push button assisted in any way, shape, or form. Screw down case back. It's nicely, heavily engraved. Limited branding, as you can see on the on the dial. So I mean, it's just a really clean appearance overall, and it's um, it's going to dress up uh, any occasion, night out on the town, executive boardroom. It's just going to be fantastic. Great option, and again, we're talking a watch with good quality features. Uh, this is a Miyota quartz movement by the way in this particular model. Uh, I believe the caliber is a 1S13 3-hand from Miyota. So just overall a beautiful watch. Lots of great features. If you're looking for a slim watch, and again, this is eight and a half millimeters thick, um, but also a watch that's not going to look tiny on the wrist. This may be something that you want to check out. So, again, definitely go over, check out the written review on watchreport.com, and um, see if this watch may be for you. I would like to thank TW Steel for providing this watch for this, this review. And I would like to thank everyone for watching, and, and please stay tuned to my next video presentation. Thank you.